on this episode of I Can Make This At Home, we are making pico and chipotle chicken. These are all the ingredients that you will need. And yes, you need every single one of these. The link for this copycat recipe will be in the description in case you want to make this at home as well. So let's jump into it. So the first thing I am doing, I added every single ingredient that I showed you to my blender. And I am chopping this very fine so that I can make the marinade. But what we're not gonna do in this video is we're not gonna talk through this entire recipe because I have linked the recipe in the description for you. What we are gonna talk about is something very near and dear to my heart, which is homemaking. So let's jump into that. My true thoughts on this, and I may get tomatoes thrown at me for this, I may get bash in the comments, and I'm okay with both. I love homemaking. I consider myself a very old school girl and I know that there are several women who have fought to be, you know, equal, quote unquote, to men, whatever that may mean to them. And there are women who want to work outside of their home. And as much as I fought and screamed and threw a temper tantrum just like them to be outside of the household, once I had my first child, I was like, I'm absolutely made for the home. I'm absolutely going to fight through these thoughts that I'm having about being a corporate woman and I'm going to settle myself into this role although it is overwhelming although it is very daunting and sometimes it can be lonely because there are not a lot of women who want to be at home and do the domestic task of being a woman like and I don't say just being a woman as if you have to do it if you're a woman but for me I love this stuff I love to prepare meals for my family I love to um, learn new things about how to hack you know the meal hacks and how to figure out what my son enjoys what my daughter enjoys I love to see the smiles on their faces when they learn to I learn a new word, read a new book, when they learn how to put together rubber bands to make a rubber band ball. I love all of it. And that's not to say that one is better than the other, but what I am going to say is when they did all that fighting, did y'all fight, you know, for your children to, you know, know you as your as a mom? Did you fight for your children? And I'm not saying that this is I'm not opposing what other people are doing with their lives as moms, but I am saying that there are a few of us who love what we are doing as moms. And because that is something that I enjoy and I love, I'm going to start shining light on that area. For those of you who may be in the shadows and you feel like, hey, I love this stuff, but there's not a lot of us who are on the internet embracing and enjoying and loving it. And I say us as a black African American woman, there are a lot of other races who we see on the internet who enjoy it and it feels, it can feel, for me, it can feel daunting to not see yourself represented on the internet. It can feel lonely to be like, are there any more of us out there? Almost like, um, what is that movie? Um, like, ooh, ooh. You know the movie I'm talking about. Put it in the comments. And so I am going to volunteer as tribute and I'm going to start sharing a little bit more of my homemaking journey. I love it here. I love it here. Now, is it overwhelming most days? Yes. Is it chaotic? Yes. But it is a great payoff for me and it's a great payoff for my children, my husband, and my family to come. And I know that I am doing something different. I'm making, if you're watching the video still, I am making Pico now. Um, I am doing something different that I have never seen. So most days it is hard out here. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Some days I'm like, girl, do you wanna keep doing this or do you wanna go get a job? Uh, just today I was crying and telling my husband like, I wanna get a job. Because if I go into a job, guess what? They're gonna tell me when to come in. They're gonna tell me when I get off. They're gonna tell me when I can take vacation. They're gonna tell me, this, this is your job description. This is what I need to, you to do. But because I am not set up like that, I get to say, this is my job description as a homemaker. These are the things I'm gonna do. So for my household right now, I am learning how to iron out the kinks in our, the kinks, huh? I'm ironing out the lumps and dumps in our home 
in the sense of like the areas that are hard to get over as far as like I'm learning to make a soup every week I'm learning to you know figure out what my kids are going to eat for lunch help my husband to figure out our breakfast schedule planning out our meals more planning out the days that we spend our time just as a family with no cell phones with no internet I'm figuring out how to get our screen time down because oh my holy god is it very very high I am learning how to um, implement what I am learning in books and that is one of the things I do want to talk about as well is right now the reason this video is even out is because I'm reading a book that is called the one thing and the question that the author is challenging us to answer is what is one thing that I can do this week that will make everything else easier or not needed and I have taken on this question for my household in my house managing like I'm figuring out what it means for me to figure out the one thing that I can do not every single day but this week one thing I can do this week that will make everything else in my homemaking process easier or not even necessary and let me tell you it's been about three weeks that I've been reading this book and I'm not finished with the book and the book is not even that long but it's just the fact that I am learning a new concept and this question has been a very challenging question I'm like what to make everything else easier or not needed so that may mean I might need to hire someone to help me do some of this stuff that may mean I may you know me and my husband they need to start working on him coming off of his job so we need to do some other things in pre-preparation for that pre-preparation but you get what I'm trying to say um we may need to you know cut down some of our outside things that we do to have more family time so I want to ask you that question as this video wraps up I want you to think about what's one thing that you can do this week that will make everything else easier in your life or not necessary I appreciate you for watching and for listening and I will talk to you in the next one bye